Good afternoon. It's Friday. I have been awake since like 9am but I would just like to, I was going to have a mental health day but I, I needed to document this moment as a personal growth moment. I was this close, well I'd already, I'd already cancelled my day or like postponed my day, got on back into bed, wrapped myself up because it's like, it's 20 past 12 so for three hours I've been doing that and every other time that has happened in my life I've had a depression nap or I've just sat and not moved all day but I just I just set up like <gasps> and it's not like I'm going to pee or anything like that like I've set up and I, I want to start my day now that's the first time in my life that I've managed to turn it around like that and not let my day go ruined. And now I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, so I might just get back into the bed. But um, I need to return some library books today. And yeah. That's literally the only thing I needed to do and I, was, I felt so defeated by that that I, just, I got back in bed. What the hell? I am dressed. Sam is dressed. Oh. We're going to the library and I'm wearing my new shoes which unfortunately have left a humongous gash on the back of my ankle but if I'm not going to wear them in when my foot's already hurting it's not going to happen so I'm wearing them again to do it. But aren't they just perfect? Well it's this one. I have a compede on my foot and everything but it, it really hurts. But I have four humongously heavy books to return in here to the library and then and then what? And I'm coming home and doing fuck all. And then coming home and doing fuck all. My favourite. Look at Sam's jumper. It's almost as 90s as my jacket. Can you see that? Almost as 90s as these. <laughs> oh I'm doing a 360. Oh 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 let's boogie. You're depressing me. Thank you. And so is your fucking desktop. The sun is rather intense. I just deleted my What is wrong with you? It's trash, my memory safe. I'm just a piece of trash. Yeah, we know. That sun is so intense. We've made a plan for Kat's I... birthday though, haven't we? Yeah. Because we're going to be painting our exhibition walls on her birthday. So we've decided we're going to be doing it hungover. I'm going to make a playlist of like painting songs. You're going to hate me. Okay. It's a toucan with no beak. <laughs> How do you feel about this? <laughs> Kat's given me her phone. I'm on Tinder. <laughs> and someone sent her a message saying hook up question mark. So I sent them this gift. I was doing a cabaret show. I was doing a cabaret show. Pass me my phone, I forgot to show you something. Oh, but I want to reply to someone. No, you can, but I need to show you the screenshot for Okay. Um, you know, it was just, you know, when you see someone, you're like, oh my god. <laughs> like, good or my god or bad or my god? No, it was it. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> you cannot show the camera that. <laughs> no, but like, that's horrifying. So I ended up with 24 in my Ooh, there's a guy that sent you a message saying, Hey, you photography looks class. Love the way you captured the beauty of the illuminations, haha. There was one photo of illuminations on my Instagram. <laughs> okay, so what gift shall I send this guy? Oh, there's an eyebrow one. I really hate that one. A suggestive eyebrow. Yes. One of the gecko winking. That one. The gecko or the eyebrow. Gecko. Okay, so the chosen gift for this guy is the winking gecko. Until Which is adorable. Oh. Okay, one send you a message saying your photos are cool. I'm gonna send him the Dwight Schrute cry thank you. 
I'm going with the cry thank you. This is how you entertain my board. Yes. This is number three. I'll do one more. Okay. Because you've got one more message. From who? From someone called Brandon. Ooh. But which one is he? Oh, uh, no, he's good looking. Let's have a look. I can't be weird to him. Shall I send him a gif or just a message? Send him a fucking gif from friends and it's Joey. How, how are you doing? doing? That's on the home page. So well, that, yeah, because it's, so, it's, cause like it's the a good best one. So to Brandon, the good looking guy, sent him a Joey. Because who doesn't like well, a Joey? It's going to be even funnier. What? If someone on there actually sees this. I can't imagine it will. <laughs> okay. Brandon, Kyle, Andrew and Finn. I'm sorry. Uh, Is this one got a kid? I like gigs of music and also photographs. What are the chances? <laughs> Probably quite common. Kid? Yeah, he's got a kid in his picture. Where? There. Well, that's not him. Uh, don't worry, he's just yeah. my nephew. Yeah, that's why I was like... <laughs> that's that's reason, a good I'm buyer. Like, yeah. Someone called James has put, hey, how are you, with three kisses. But he's a group photo dickhead as well. Ew, and he's a chav. Why did you match him? Why are you matching with chav? That's what a chav. What are you doing Tinder? Oh, yeah. sometimes I'm like, wheeling my way over. Like, sometimes I accidentally go the wrong way and it goes uh, very badly. I can imagine that. Okay, Sam's joining us for today's rendition of Cat's Before Tinder. I How do I do this? I'm coming home with you. Are you? Okay. Yeah. <gasps> David Mitchell. Yes. I like that one. Do it. Okay, we've gone with David Mitchell. We've gone with David Mitchell. For the good looking guy. <laughs> it's such a cute one. Oh. And oh, we've got a reply. Got a new one. We've got a reply. What is your gift to this one? Oh. I honestly don't even know what it says. Oh, that eye. What's crying? This is this is the guy with the. It's my nephew. <laughs> In his bio. Um. It's because. What's cracking? I don't know how to reply to this, and I'll be very funny. Oh, hopefully curiosity hasn't killed you. That's the cat. We've had a bad chat offline. What? What's right. cracking, cat? Hopefully, curiosity hasn't killed you. Right, give me the. Give me the <laughs> How gift. bad is oh this? Give me the gift. How bad is this? No, I'm gonna get a like eye roll. Like, no, what you, need, roll. what you need is the whack of flock of flame where he's like. It's funny though, curiosity killed me. Okay. It's terrible! Right, right I'm going type for in whack of flock of flame. Lucille Bluth. Yeah, that one's fine. Good choice. They could have been perfect for that. each other. Yeah, and if he finds that funny, they will be. You have so many messages that you've not replied to. Because that's effort. Then why do you have it? Because sometimes I a have dick. effort. Well, a dick. Know, as Shakespeare like, once said, oh. love is a battlefield. That was Pat Benatar. Shakespeare. <laughs> it was Pat Benatar. <laughs> okay, I'm bored now. But dick. Hey, fuck Shakespeare. Can't even Saturday morning I've just got my post and I've got the I ordered this because I saw Katie Snooks had got it and I know that she struggles with her skin um so I'm hoping it might work for me I know her scars are newer and mine are definitely old but you can they're still quite prominent um this is the science of skin solution for scars it's clinically proven to reduce the thickness of scars, reduce the appearance of redness and soothe and calm the skin. Um, now it does say that it's vegetarian society approved, but I couldn't find any information on it being cruelty free or not. And unfortunately I've gotten to the stage where I can't really prioritise that in skincare. Well not skincare, but I mean like acne stuff because if something's gonna work 
then I want to try it. But it's small, but apparently a lot rude. Apparently a little goes a long way. Um, it says use at least two to three times a day on and around the affected affected area to help to reduce the appearance of a scar formation. Doesn't smell of anything. It's quite a weird colour. But let's have a go. Days to massage into skin for a, like a minute until it's sunken in. And my god, a little does go a long way. That one pump, that's half of it on this side of my face right there. Unfortunately, quite a lot of like scar remedies are for brand new ones. But when I first started getting acne, in which these scars were the result of, there wasn't like a whole culture around problem skin or anything like that. Like I went to the doctor so many times about it and nothing, there was no solution ever. A couple of times I even got, oh well you can go a couple of days a week without wearing makeup and at that point it was when I was in school so I wasn't wearing makeup every day anyway and I'm not now, like I never have been the kind of person that wears makeup every day. So, kind of quite ridiculous. It's nice to see some improvements there. So I'm hoping that eventually these will fade because they are, they're not fully obvious when I'm like looking full on right now, that won't be what you're looking at. But when I put my makeup on, I can see it. Like the ones up here, they're really like faded. They're not red. Um, So it'd probably be a case of getting some kind of... um surgical procedure done on those up here there you can see that there but the ones on my cheeks are really red so hopefully that'll take the redness away and I can look into some kind of surgical procedure I've seen I can't remember what they call it but they do little injections into the scars kind of like, it's like polyfiller or something it's not actually polyfiller because that'd be crazy but it's the same kind of premise where it's like it smooths them over because mine are in indentations and quite deep. So maybe that'll work. I don't know. But I really want to start looking into it now. That my acne seems to have stopped and I'm not getting any more. And I haven't for quite a long time. So, because I didn't want to invest loads of time and money and stuff into getting these procedures done and then my acne come back and make it worse but I think it's gone. I do get the occasional spot still but I definitely want to look into something to make the scars fuck off because I don't want them on my face anymore. <laughs>
like I should do a little update. Yesterday I spent quite a long time on the phone to, is that on the inside or the outside of my bedroom? There's a spider in my window, I think it's on the outside. I hope it's on the outside. Ooh, my hair looks ridiculous because it needs dyeing and washing and I didn't want to do it this morning. Or last night, so yeah. Um, yeah, I spent a very, very, very long time on the phone to Amazon customer service yesterday because my memory sticks didn't arrive. Even the the tracking thing said they were delivered at 6pm, they weren't, and the best excuses they could give me, by the way I was on the phone to them at half past eight, nine o'clock, like I wasn't, like PM, I wasn't ringing straight away after six o'clock, and they were like, oh well the drivers sometimes preemptively scan the package before it's actually delivered, and I was like, three hours before, like wh why? And then they were like, oh yeah, the drivers don't have phone numbers so we can't even get in touch with them. Like, why? Why don't the drivers have phone numbers? Every other time I've ordered a package from Amazon, they've rang. Like, I just... They were really stressing me out and I was rude to the customer service guy and I apologised because I felt so bad immediately. I was like, look, it's not your fault, I know that. I'm really sorry for having to go at you, but I'm just at a bit of a loss. I needed it before Monday. Um, and it's just not here. So as compensation, they've credited my mum's Amazon Prime account with 30 more days for free, which is great, but, you know, I'm still kind of at a loss. So I went into town to buy a memory stick and came home with this bag. So I thought I'd show you what I got, a little mini haul. And first things first, I did indeed get a memory stick and I got a neon yellow one because this was the cheapest one they had but it's 32 gigabytes and it's yellow which is adorable so fingers crossed I'll actually get this one back from uni after I've handed it in handing days tomorrow, yes another fucking hand in, I know and then I went to Superdrug and stocked up on my trusty mango I'm sure it's called mango mango copper burst uh, they're two for six pounds the majority of the time in Superdrug by the way, they're fully cruelty free, this is the colour that they go over like darkish brown, so they're, they're really 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 good dyes, because for some reason, I'm naturally blonde and as you can tell here, my hair's are, like white, but then sometimes my roots, as you can see here, are very very dark brown, but it covers them perfectly, there's like, I'm pretty sure there's no ammonia or anything in them, but they are cruelty free, as they are Superdrug's own, and there's the Leaping Bunny in the corner, um, oh, and there's a happiness money back guarantee on them, which is good. And it's pretty much all recyclable, apart from the tube, which is amazing. And how cute is this cutie? I want this job, I want this to be my job, I want to be the face of the, the mango copper burst in Superdrug on the hair dye. And then the exciting things amongst all of my receipts, uh, also from Superdrug, I did my uh, trusty dietary cook pickup. The exciting ones. I thought I'd try out the Himalayan charcoal mask. It's not cheap, but <laughs> you get like a lot in there. That's a proper sizable tub. It's got 75 millilitres in it. Like that's a hefty, hefty business. And it does smell. Oh, it's got a cute little topper on it to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. That's good. It smells incredible. So I'm really excited to use that. I'm going to have a pamper night tonight. Or maybe a pamper afternoon and then get on with my uni work. I should probably do my uni work first. So I'm going to do this face mask. That smells incredible and has been ooh, hyped over at the minute. So I'm very excited to use that. Yay. And of course that's cruelty free because it's from the body shop. Oh my god, there's so much in there. It says unclogs, refines pores, reveals glow with bamboo charcoal from the Himalayan foothills and green tea leaves from Japan. So I'm excited to try that. My face is feeling alright, I've been putting that um, scar thing on it and my friend Abby who I went to meet in town commented on how alright my skin's looking at the minute which is great. And then this is something that I've been eyeing up for ages. I fucking love bananas so much. And when I found the shampoo and conditioner in the banana smell, I was like, I really don't know if it's going to be too much for me. And I'll end up going off bananas, because that would break my heart. And then I found the hair mask. That's going to be perfect, because I'll use it like once or twice a week. 
and it, honestly it's unreal I love it. I love it so much. Fucking love bananas. Formulated without silicones. With community trade banana from Ecuador. That's cute. Applying to cleanse damp hair and leave for five minutes before rinsing off. 100% vegan. Forever against animal testing. It, it doesn't say how many times to use it a week, so I'll probably use it once. Maybe twice if I'm feeling the need. But I'm so happy. I've got a nice little haul going on today. It is a preemptive treat for my submission tomorrow and also a treat for booking a wedding for summer. So I thought I was allowed. All the, the body shop stuff was quite expensive, but that's going to last me such a long time. Like a really, really long time. So I'm happy that I bought them, I don't have any buyer's regret and I did go into Primark looking for the belt, you know, the belt that everyone's been talking about with the two like hoops on it, that's apparently like a knockoff of the Gucci one which I think is a lot nicer than the Gucci one and they don't have it in my Primark because the Sunderland Primark sucks so, I'm sad about that but it'll probably come in like next week or something I've lost the spider now, I don't know where it's gone, it better not be in my room mm. oh, another update I just wasn't feeling in the mood to vlog yesterday. Uh, for the first time ever, I didn't want to talk about my problems, which is quite strange, but I feel a little bit better. Um, I found a mouse under my bed last night. And if anyone's been reading my blog or watching my videos for a few months now, you will know the stress that we went through with our kitchen. Sadly, but luckily enough, I am used to mice now. And I was convinced that I wasn't going to be able to sleep last night, but literally as soon as I lay back down again, straight off to sleep. But I just don't like the thought of them being around my stuff. Because I don't, one, I don't want them to chew, chew through any whiters and like ruin my stuff. But at the same time, like I don't want them to accidentally get hurt on anything. And I hate that they've put traps out. They did it while I wasn't here. And there's traps everywhere. There better not be any in my room because I. You know, I don't know about them if there are. But there's one in the kitchen, there's some in Sam's room. And stuff like that. And if I ever find a mouse, a dead mouse in a trap, then... It'll break my heart a little bit, because I think it's really unfair. Like the amount, and I don't want to talk about it now, it's very morbid. Some lotion, hmm? Cool. Spa? Yeah, so what's so cool? My hair is dyed, I used that face mask, and my god, Look at that, I am literally glowing. I completely am on board and understand the hype. I'm gonna have little orange bits stuck to my head for a while now. I also used the hair mask and so soft. I'll give a proper verdict once my hair is dry, but right now, and it still smells like banana. I really hope it still smells like this when it's dry because it's so good. And the face mask, fucking hell, it smells incredible. And it feels so good. I just feel like a brand new woman. I'm about halfway dry. And it's just soft. It's just so soft. I'm just, just soft. Oh, but <clears throat> I wanted to reflect on some things this weekend that I have done that I'm happy about. One was the very first clip that I opened this video, me pulling myself out of what could have been the start of a very horrendous weekend but I turned that around myself I did that me and then found a mouse under my bed and didn't have a panic attack or anything like that sadly very used to them now um, I was insanely ruthless with throwing out a lot of my clothes well not throw it out I'm going to donate them to the charity shop on Tuesday I usually like to donate them to Mind, but there isn't a Mind in Sunderland. So I'm going to probably, there's about six bags in the hallway, so I'm probably going to distribute between a few, just not the Salvation Army, because they're homophobic dickheads. You're not getting my clothes. Um, but it now means my wardrobes are not overflowing, my drawers are not overflowing, I feel slightly less cluttered, and that's great. I've finished my uni work, I'm not expecting a good grade for it because I literally don't give a shit. Like, I love the photos that I've done, but this whole module has been bullshit. 
I can't even explain how ridiculous it is without being insanely boring, but you know when you want to focus on one big thing, but instead you get given lots of little things that kind of get in the way of the big thing that you want to do? That basically is what happened. Um, my knees are cold. But my shower is incredible. I feel great. I'm going to stick some nails on. I'm going to get up early and do my makeup. I'm going to wear a fucking nice outfit. I'm going to feel good about myself. Even though I'm going to be literally in uni for five minutes. But I want to feel nice. So I'm going to finish drying my hair. And attempt to get an early night. But that's definitely not going to happen. Because I don't sleep before 2am ever. But I am going to get some mood lighting on and get snuggly. We need to tell you about the idea we just had. Oh. <laughs> because if we don't, I'm still holding the banana. Basically, we were just talking about potatoes and how if you planted a potato, it would grow more potatoes. So we've decided that our... We need to do some gardening. It's like, it's like a senior prank. Alan Titchmarsh. We're going to plant a potato in the garden of this flat just before we move out. What you've done there is filmed the incriminating evidence where we got done for vandalism by potato. It wouldn't be vandalism, it's agriculture. <laughs> I'm still glowing. And I'm going to eat a banana. And Sam's doing something. Relax. Oh, I need to put the stuff on the memory stick. Yeah, I just did that. Fuck's sake. He made potatoes, roast potatoes, and they were so good. I had one and it was like, I had... You know the grape that never gets to be a grape? The yeah. potato I had was the one that never got to be yeah, a proper roast potato. The of the I, had, I had the runt of the potatoes, but well, it, was it was still a good... potato that crisped to the best. It was a really good potato. I was worried they were going to be like hard on the inside. Like no, they were good. It was like mashed potato on the inside. And I don't like mashed potato unless it tastes like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go eat my banana now. Happy Monday morning. I made the executive decision at some point this morning to, instead of waking up on time, put my makeup on, looking nice, because I knew it really wasn't going to be worth it, to sleep until five past nine in the morning. And I am very happy about that decision because I am sleepy. But my work is ready. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to set off and go hand it in. This is the least stressful deadline I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Whole Fair vlog, they'll remember I got very excited about being on a carousel horse and I said that I had never been on one before. And I was pretty sure that I had been on one before, but it had been a very, very long time as a child. And I'm flipping through my photo album, putting my new snapfish prints in, and I found this. It's baby Meg on a carousel horse, and it's most definitely the exact same carousel as this image. But look at me, barely changed a day. <laughs> I just ran out of room in this photo album that I've had for the past four years. I started it when I started uni, so 2014, and I've just gone through and I had to take out this many, like that's a fair wad of pictures, because I didn't want to fill it until I finished uni. Um, but it does, it does have a lot of old family photos and stuff in it and like events that happened before uni because I don't have a photo album like this, this is what I've got. 
Uh, this is a photo of York that I took on a disposable camera that was slightly out of date and I thought it worked really well to go on the front cover. And then on the inside, I have this Always Be Yourself, which was a Christmas card, I think, or something from my auntie. But um, once it is full and finished, and I've finished uni and like my graduation photo is the last thing in there, I'll probably do a run through video of it because I do love it so much. It'd be nice to share it, but I still had eight photos to try and fit in it. So now I'm going to reorganise the whole thing because I've just taken out about 30 pictures. <laughs> but at least I'm finding something productive to do with my time instead of napping because I already napped. It is done and now I have nine spare pages left. Thank goodness. But it is still full from here to here. I think nine pages will last me the next four or five months till I graduate. But I think I managed to get it in a relatively okay order, time-wise. There will be somewhere I've got some months backwards and somewhere a couple of years are in the wrong order and stuff, but I went from Black Hair with a Fringe, which was 2014, then Longer Black Hair with a Sweepy Fringe was 2015, 2016 was very 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 long black hair but with ombre at the bottom and so it was a lot of 2017 but then also 2017 2018 ginger hair so changing your hair does actually make it a lot easier to organize photo albums i'm feeling quite sad and homesick now after reading after reading after sorting out that photo album so i think i might watch one of my very very old vlogs but not long Till Easter. Well, I have I, mm, I actually have a countdown, so I know exactly how long it is till Easter. Forty-five days. Sounds a lot when you say it in days, but you know, take it week by week. Stephen's coming on Friday. Then we're gonna go see Mama's ex, and I'm so excited. But today kind of feels like a bit of a write-off. So unless anything exciting happens which I doubt it will. I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll see you next week.